Here with head coach Bobby Barbier, an 8-3 win against uh, Abilene Christian to take the series. And coach, Jonathan Harmon, you've talked about Logan Hoffman and seeing him bounce back from adversity. Really the first time Jonathan Harmon has faced some. First three batters reached, first three batters score in the first inning. All he does is answer with four more scoreless innings and give you a chance to win the ball game. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny, I think that's um, kind of like our team today. I mean, got to hit the mouth yesterday. They come out, and Johnny made good pitches, I thought. You know, they just they did a good job. You know, got three three hits in a row there, and they did a good job punching across the other two with some good at-bats. Then they settled the game down. You know, I think us us hitting the back and the bottom kind of helped that a lot. So it's good to see our offense respond. We get eight hits today, but the conditions are a little different. And, you know, we probably got 12 or 13. You know, maybe it's going to be them too. But it's um, it was nice to see. I mean, I think they got one after the first, you know, which it was good. We got to limit the walks. We had a few, few too many free bases, but good to see Drake come in behind them, and then obviously there's Swanee at the end pitch well. And then uh, Peyton Davis, seven hits on the weekend. He was a guy, and you moved him up in the order. You had to. Some some guys were out, but the top of that order answering and just doing it pretty much up and down, and not necessarily one guy, but everyone kind of being a threat this weekend uh, puts you in a position to do that. I, I thought we swung the bats pretty good all weekend long, even yesterday. You know, we didn't score a whole bunch, but, but Peyton – I mean, we talked about it. he could change the score quickly, you know. I mean, he's got that kind of power. It's good to see him coming around. Man, he works at it. He works at it a ton. And, you know, uh, you feel for him when he's scuffling like that, like he was a little early in the season. And, and still popping a, a double here or there, but good to see him give consistent at-bats that way. And some guys, you know, I know you're the sit around and wait for a three-run homer or a weaver kind of manager, but to have a guy that can score from second on a sack fly to center field, uh, making a two-run sack fly and giving you a two-run lead, that's got to be nice to have a guy like Cam Sibley and a guy like Dante Stewart at the top of the lineup that give you those options. No doubt. And there's a reason I like Coach Dugard running the offense. You know, I mean, I think I think our, our personnel this year is more geared toward running. It's geared toward doing some other things. You know, we, we probably got seven or eight guys in that lineup that can run six, seven or better. You know, so if, if, if that's our personnel, we got to coach to it. You know, I think Coach has done a really good job doing that. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.